Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all who's watching. I pray your day is blessed. Happy Merry Christmas Eve. Whether you celebrate it or not, we should be celebrating Jesus Christ every single day. And uh, we're in our final chapter of the book of Luke, which covered Jesus's whole life from birth to death and resurrection. Amen. All glory be to God and praise Jesus Christ forever. I'm going to do this final chapter, and I pray it blesses you. Luke 24, he is risen. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened, as they were greatly perplexed about this, that, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then, as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to them like idle tales, and they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran to the tomb, and stooping down, he saw the linen cloths lying by themselves, and he departed, marveling to himself at what had happened. The road to Emmaus. Now behold, two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. And they talked together of all these things which had happened, so it was, while they conversed and reasoned, that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. He said to them, What kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? Then the one whose name was Cleopas answered and said to him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem and have not known the things which happened there in these days and he said to them what things so they said to him the things concerning jesus of nazareth who was a prophet mighty indeed and word before god and all the people and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him but we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem israel indeed besides all this today is the third day since these things happened Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of these who were with us went to the tomb and found it, just as the women had said, but him they did not see. Then he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken, Ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. The disciples' eyes were open. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone farther. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening. And the day is far spent, and he went in to stay with them. Now it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. And they said to one another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road, and while he opened the scriptures to us? So they rose up at that very hour and returned to Jerusalem. And found the eleven, and those who were with them gathered together, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. 
And they told about the things that had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. Jesus appears to his disciples. Now as they had said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed they had seen a spirit. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me to see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. But while they were still, did not believe for joy and marveled, he said to them, Have you any food? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. He took it and ate it in in their presence. Pardon me. The scriptures open. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. He opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with the power of the Most High. The Ascension He led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass why he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And we're continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. This is the entire book of Luke. I hope you enjoy the reading of God's word. Let us not only honor Jesus Christ on Christmas Eve, but every day. Let us carry Jesus in our hearts. The sacrifice that he made for us on the cross, his birth his life, his death, his resurrection. Let us glorify his holy name and praise him always and in always. I love you in Christ. Merry Christmas Eve. God bless you. God bless your family. May you be in peace in Jesus' name. I love you in Christ. Amen.